So say you've decided that you want your fiddle leaf fig to grow branches. You don't just want more leaves and you don't just want it to get taller. You want it to actually grow new branches to get fuller. That's great and there's a couple of different methods you can use. The problem is you need to decide which method is correct for you. And so I'll walk you through exactly how to make that decision. So a couple of factors to consider before you figure out which method is right for you. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna decide where you want the branches on your plant. So in a perfect world, you know, where would you like to see the new branches develop? Second thing you wanna think about is how tall is your plant and how tall do you want it to get in its end state? And then how old is your plant? Because basically you can't notch a plant that is too young, it won't work. And so if you have a very, very young plant, you're probably gonna to wanna to use the pinching method. So the three methods for getting your fiddle leaf fig to branch are pruning, notching, and pinching. The first method is pruning, where you're just gonna cut off the top, you know, say one foot to 18 inches of your plant to create a branch at that level. And so this method is really gonna be good if your plant is too tall for its current environment. And so if you only have a plant that's two feet tall, you're not gonna wanna use this method because it would basically cut it down to nothing. But the pruning method of cutting back your plant to create a branch at that level is really good for plants that are too tall or plants that maybe have damaged leaves. So maybe your plant got sunburnt. This is the perfect technique to cut off the sunburnt area and get a new branch at that location. And then another reason is if you wanna propagate your plant. And so if you want to make more fiddle leaf figs by doing your cuttings, you can do your pruning method to get your current plant to branch, and then you could propagate the cuttings. And I have a whole video on propagation that you can check out below. So that would be why you would use the pruning method is if your plant is already very tall, you're not really concerned about height, you just want branching at that high level. So let's talk about when notching might be right for you. And so, one of the reasons you might use notching to get your plant to branch is if it's not as tall as you want it to be yet. So say you want it to grow branches within the existing structure, but you don't wanna lop off the top of it because maybe you don't have a lot of leaves or you know maybe it's not as tall as you want it to be and you still wanna preserve that height. And so notching is a great way just to make a few cuts in the plant to get it to branch right where it is without actually lopping off or pruning any of the plant. Um, and so that's a really good option if your plant already is sort of the shape that you want it to be. You just want additional branches within the same structure and you still want it to grow taller. So the third method of pinching is really something you're gonna wanna do on a younger plant. And so this is a plant where you still want it to grow taller. You don't, you're not worried about making it shorter and cutting off any of the height. And you want it to branch at the existing level. So you want it to branch Right now it's this tall and you want the branches to form from the very, very top. And so you wouldn't want to do this with a plant that's already too tall because it's just gonna get taller. But if you have a young plant that is having new growth, what you can do is the pinching method where you just pinch off the new growth and it will actually branch at that level. And so this is for the younger plant. It's probably the easiest method. Um, and basically what you do is you take a new leaf bud and you just cut it off of the base of the leaf bud and it will form a new branch. And so this is something to do with younger plants where maybe notching wouldn't work because notching only works on really woody stems of older plants. And so if you have a very young, fast growing plant, um, pinching is probably the best method for you. So I hope this was helpful to decide which method is correct for you to get your plant to branch. And I will have in-depth videos on each of the methods. If you're interested, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, bye.